Hi guys, JJ here, back with another video, and today we are on the MEP server, and we are here with Mr. Awesome. Hello. And we are going to be doing some spleef, because I built this in like the fifth episode or something on here, and we're now at episode 39, and I still actually haven't used it, and I don't think anyone has. I think you're like the first person ever to come here kind of thing, so. Well, I mean, it's the first portal in your tunnel, and I was like, is this your base? This is kind of... Yeah. Odd. <laughs> yeah, my first impressions of your base, and yep. this is not your base. Yeah, it is kind of. It's sort of. You don't. Yeah, you go through my tunnel, and you think that the, my base is going to be at the end, and of course it is, but when you come to this first, it kind of throws you off a bit if you yeah, haven't been there yeah. before. So let's get going. I don't know how you want to do this, but I think we can just keep armor on and stuff, and it should be fine. Yeah. So I think you just just the first person to fall down kind of thing. That sounds good. That's way too easy played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or at least that that's the way I've seen it played before most of the time. We used to have one of these at spawn, or like it was made just before I joined, I think, and it was with snow and stuff. First, I thought it was going to be a a new spawn platform, but it turned out it was bleef. Yeah, it I like the leaves. It's, it's a it's probably useful. Yeah. And I get a load of them from when I'm going at my wood farm because I got silk touch axe. And when you have to, you know, you have to break like two of the leaves to get to yeah, the wood. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I get a load of leaves off that when I'm collecting wood, so it's pretty helpful. So yeah, do you want to start? Do you want to start over like there, and I'll start over here? I and guess can... yeah. Start at either end, and yep. then just <laughs> okay, <laughs> fight yep. or whatever. So three, are you have you got your food saturation full? E yes. Okay, three, two, one, go. I just took a speed potion, by the way. Oh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that, 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 <laughs> that escalated quickly. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, that was funny. <laughs> I just wildly just... Yeah, just grab some leaves out of the chest. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Maybe pick these up here, I don't know. I got it. Like I got. Like, I had. A, I had. A, I didn't think to grab any stacks, but yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Go. I'll just grab these down here, and then at least we're not wasting too many of them, because I don't know how quickly they're gonna go, but we'll see. You got some leaves? Yeah. Okay. I do. We should probably uh, wait. Do you do you want to quickly log and then I'll sleep? Yeah, so we sure. Don't, we don't want any mobs here. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. I don't want to be trying to battle skeletons whilst playing some spleef. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, you can log back in, by the way. I was the wondering. The skeletons what... just want to play. I mean, they just want yeah. to play with us. <laughs> yeah, but they're not very nice as players. Yeah, they kind of cheat with their bows. Yeah, try to hit people off the edge. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll start here. It's more lucky yeah. this time. Okay, yeah. So, three, two, one, go. No, <laughs> it goes pretty. The thing is, you got to play with more people, or you sort of, you sort of fall through quickly. I think we got to play this with like four people or something. That'd be good. Because it's sort of like it ends pretty quickly, seeing as it's like the first person to click kind of thing that wins. Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was funny how, how you thought I was gonna run at you, and then I just backed off and just. Yeah, that's what I did the first time as well. A big swap. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did the first time. You, you ran towards me, and then I just sort of walked backwards and went wee, and sort of got rid of a load of leaves. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to start? You why don't you start on that side now, and then I'll start on this side. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, where'd I go? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, yes, I, I got you. Ooh. Do you want to maybe collect the leaves down below or something? And I'll fill um, in. Yeah, I'll collect a few of them. You probably shouldn't drown. I guess you... Uh, I don't have a good helmet on. I haven't either. I've got a crappy helmet. I have a helmet with just the essential scuba gear equipment. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got my proper helmet, which is protection for Aqua Affinity 1, Respiration 3, Thorns 3. No, I haven't got Thorns 3 on it yet, but with Unbreaking 3 as well. 
I think I've gotten into chess too. I never thought to add thorns to anything but a chest plate. I've had it as a chest plate and I've got it on my pants as well, my leggings, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go. Three. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Three. Yeah. Two. You're not even back properly, you're like all in oh, the yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the strategies. Yep. Oh, misclicking. <laughs> I enderpearled into you. I <laughs> twice. I enderpearled into you, and then you enderpearled oh. into me. That's so kind of hilarious. But, yeah, this is kind of fun. Um, I can't see very well, so I don't know if there are any more leaves, but hey. Oh, I'm going to start drowning now. Oh, no, that, that was close. It's not like leaves grow, grow on trees or anything. Nah. nah. I've it. never seen them growing on trees. It'd be kind of weird if leaves grow on trees. I'm curious if I have... Nah, I only have one. I was going to say swiftness potion, but I only have one. Ah, oh, okay. That'd be kind of more interesting. Yeah, it'd be going super fast. We could also do invisibility and then keep like one piece of oh, armor. God. Or, or I don't want to know. <laughs> that that would be fun. I'll have to do that sometime with someone. If you ever I'm got like a overabundance of leaves too, you could just set them on fire, just run around, and just try to try to stay away from the nest. Yeah, that'd be quite away. cool as well. Yeah. Oh jeez, got a quite a bit to repair this time. <laughs> <laughs> sort of took a, a load of swipes at it whilst you were. <laughs> End of you, pearling yeah, around. end of pearling, and then just sort of standing I kinda, still. I kind of threw that one in there, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> the unexpected little... Oh. There we go. <laughs> like okay, you're going to start over there, I'll start over here. I think we should make this the last game, and then we can... Well, I, you're not recording, are you? No. Then I'll get on to something else. Alright. Do they come on to leaves? What the hell? <laughs> I think he's mad at me. <laughs> I'm looking him like, oh, and then he went. I was looking right at <laughs> right in his eye, and he just was not I doing saw anything. That. What the heck? That was really weird. Okay, three, two, one, go. Damn. <laughs> Better luck next time. Damn it! Oh, oh you, yeah, I fell I was first. Concentrating really hard there. Yeah, <laughs> just went silent. <laughs> just, had yeah, you beat. suddenly can't hear anything. You're like, wait, did my mic break? <laughs> Mad mouse clicking. <laughs> yeah, just, that's that's all you hear. Like, well, not necessarily Mad Mouse clicking because normally you're holding it, but. Oh damn, I'm gonna oh, start yeah. dying here. Yep, taking damage already. Oh yeah. Use your bucket. Well, uh, I didn't think of that, yeah. Should have done. It's pretty uh, cool that it doesn't take from like the block that you're pointing at, but the block in front of you, of course. Or well, the block yeah. that your head's in, kind of thing, yeah. That's okay. actually a trick I never I never knew about until recently, but it's an awesome trick. I think I, I learnt it off vintage beef. That's exactly who I learned it off of. Because yeah. I saw him build that thing and I saw him keep using it and I'm like, what yeah. the heck's going on there? And I think I it was, it. I, I saw it when Anders went to kill him in Death Games. Anders yeah, that's that's actually, that's I, that's the one I can specifically remember the first time I seen it. Yeah, because he was getting chased by him and then he had to jump into the water. And I was just thinking, oh, he's going to drown and then all of a sudden he just does the bucket trick and I'm like, yeah, what I'm like, just happened? What? Huh? <laughs> How the hell did that work? It's like the cauldrons in the nether. Yeah. Oh, actually, I need to show them that. <laughs> Do you have six more leaves that you could put down or not? Kind of no. No. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just put the shears back in the back in the chest, and then we can. I'll fill it in next time I come over. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> just shove the shears in there. I think mine got used. Oh no, yours actually got used more. Kind I of almost used my silk touch shears. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> That would not have been good, no. Oh, whoa, I came into there and then suddenly I, all I could see was another rack. That was really weird. Yeah, I've, I've like fallen through a chunk area in here. And yeah. 
scary as could be because you just fall straight into lava but it's fake yeah there's there's lava all under this part of the path from like where you are now up until my portal there's all lava under here there used to be a glitch a couple like a couple versions ago where they where gas could see you through clay yep and your cheaty water <laughs> oh yeah, 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 oh, oh, damn it, I went through, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like typical, that the only reason I went over there, I would have ended <laughs> ended this part otherwise. Yeah, so we got, we just shoved some water in the nether, because hey, why not? But it's actually in cauldrons, because we're cheaty. It, it does yeah. look awesome, it's just like, yep, I got water in the nether, stuff it, <laughs> stuff it you guys. <laughs> but that does really make you see that it's not actually symmetrical. Because you can see here, this has got one glass of on this too. Because <laughs> I ended up, I, I kind of mucked it up over here, ish. Oh darn! Now you have to mess up my, my Minecraft OCD is just going off. Yeah, I know. It's like I was the only one who knew about it, and that's uh, you. Yeah. Minecraft gives everyone OCD. I think it's terrible. I still need to give sheepers. He get he pay, had to pay me once for death games. He had to pay me a Merry Christmas diamond from Chris. I think, did you join after Christmas? You did, didn't you? Yeah, ah, I did. Shame. But, um, hey, you got death game stuff, I'm gonna totally kill you. Oh, wait, that wasn't actually what? meant to happen. It's <laughs> my looting sword, and I can't open this chest. Okay, You're shifted. Close. You're shifted. That's uh, probably why. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why I haven't been able to open the chest. I don't know. That's a weird. Shuffle was saying yesterday that I was shifted the whole time. I was sprinting and shifting. It looked really weird, he said. And, uh, yeah, one last thing I want to show you guys before... Oh, before um, before I cut here is... Oh, yes, there are... Are there... Oh, wait, I've got to quickly check if there are babies up there. Uh, yes, there are. Awesome. I have over here... Yes, there's a compass in the water right now. Put this chest down here to shove in some villager training stuff. And I've got this villager, and it's awesome because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. They normally have like nine trades, isn't it? And exactly he's, nine, so he, yeah. yeah, so he's still got gold and papers to go. So basically, he's going to be an infinite villager. Either I'm just going to be using quite a bit of gold, or it's just going to be a completely infinite villager, which would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be the better. Yeah. I have, I'm so low on sugarcane, I might actually ask Shuffle if I can take some of his. Because <laughs> yeah. I am so low on it. I probably need to build another half or something. I haven't been AFK enough. What the hell? Damn Enderman. Oh, they really annoy me. But you do have a lot of his cobble. You could say that, yeah. Me and, uh, me and Mr. A moved over all of the cobble from the witch farm, from the perimeter. And those chests aren't all full. I actually might as well remove some. But we got that one, and then these ones aren't full anymore. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some? Of the, I I only got three chests. You got another three. Perfect. Yeah. So that's it, really. These are. This is the cobble. It's just all filled up. I might as well just. Actually, I suppose thinking about it, all these hoppers are going to be. No, the hoppers aren't actually full. Oh, of course, because I automatically loaded in myself. Yeah, I remember. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. This chest is probably no, that chest is actually empty. So I could get rid of another one of these. Okay. Yeah, see, it's actually draining through now, which is cool. Okay. Oh, I've got a. This is so annoying because I've got a pretty full inventory and I'm trying to move blocks over. I might actually be able to fill this up completely and not need the extra chest in general. Possibly. Oh my god, the crafting table is still there. Yeah, I know. I keep it there. I actually craft a load of stuff with it. Oh, damn it. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> no, no, wrong hopper. Wrong hopper. Get it out, get it out. Oh, I can remember replacing that crafting table like a week ago. Uh, it was longer than a week ago, I think. That's funny. <laughs> now the trick to get up there. <laughs> no, you got to go on the leaves and then you got to jump whenever you want to craft. 
It's oh, rather got weird. Up there. there we go. Yeah. I'm on top of it. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many hearts in your villagers. Yeah, I know. They're all very busy with trading. Oh my god. Just so many graphical glitches at your base. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> the cows are, are getting out of their pen, it looked like, but they're just, oh, yeah, just yeah, glitching out. Yeah, a graphical glitch. They should be That's done. Cool. They should be done soon. Okay. I've only got one chest up here, one double chest extra. Are they fully grown yet? Oh, they are, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get my sharpness 5 sword. I am too. Throw them on the barbecue. Yeah, this sword is epic. I love this sword, especially because it's like the list of enchantments is so long compared to like something like my my um, shovel. It's awesome. I'll tell you what, I could use for this actually. My auto clicker that I made. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I can just use my auto clicker on it, and they all die extremely quickly. I'm liking this. Oh, I'm gonna need to quickly kill these and then get some more leather because I sort of run out of leather. Which is pretty crazy because I had so much leather. Hmm. I also need to eat because I'm pretty much about to die. <laughs> I always forget about food until it's like at the last point when I'm not running around at least. Yeah, for me, when I when like I think there were some eating changes between one point six and one point seven, and that completely threw me off. Yeah. Oh damn it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, I found it. Wondering what the hell was wrong there. All the bouncing items. Yeah, they're gone now, and they should all be filtering into here. Awesome. We've got some more steak to sell now. Zombies. I'm actually gonna see, is this a one hit kill? No, it's not a shame. Oh, of course it's not smite, is it? If I have strength, that's when... You can also... By the way, you were saying earlier that um, you need to end a pearl into a mob and then hit them. You can also That was the easiest way I could find. Strength potion you could take. That'll do it, yeah. And that's probably easier, isn't it? Yeah, for that overkill achievement. Yeah. So, guys, I think I'm gonna cut it off now. Uh, and I will see you in the next clip. Who knows what I'm going to do. I'm, I've been really busy with villagers, so we might do some trading there. And hopefully going to get some uh, more more um, librarians with like paper and book trade. On. Hopefully not book, because that's really annoying. I don't like the book trade, really. It's kind of annoying, because you've got to lose one leather and three paper, so... Yeah, and not every cow drops leather. No, which is the annoying thing, so... Especially with the looting, it really does help, but it's still kind of annoying. I've got three and a half stacks of steak from the. I get a, I get 64 cows in there, and that you can see all the drops from it in here. The, so these are the drops that I get from 64 cows, which is pretty good. Th over three and a half stacks of steak, so that's three, over three and a half pieces of steak a cow, which is pretty good to be honest. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm going to cut you off here, and uh, I will see you when we are probably doing some trading with this village over here, trying to get it absolutely parfait, or perfect, as they say in English. See you guys in a second. One, go. Hello, guys, MC Autumn Crew, and today I'm with JJ69. Hi, guys. What a name. Yeah, I know. I'm hey, amazing. today we're doing a... You can give me a spawn tour tour of spawn. Yeah. Thought and I'd over, sh yeah. yeah, show them around. And over the Nether I've built by Mad PC Gamers. Yep. I think, yeah. Yep. It's it he put a lot of time into this and resources. Yes. Oh, to like wow. ages to get all the clay. I'll put his channel in the description below. Give him some credit. Because I think wow. When he made this, the mesa wasn't out yet, so we would he was doing this with all the clay blocks, like mining Seriously? from the wow. ocean. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my. I, I think about halfway through we got the mesa or something, or we found like a mesa. 
Wow. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons it took so long to do. Wow. Yeah. And we had to clear out like probably about fifty percent of the space of this was made out of nether was literally nether rack, so we had to clear that all out. Wow. Thanks to him man. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's go through here now. Yeah. We have quite a few shops, so it might take a while, but we'll see. Okay, a little thing like Oh oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh crap, no. God, I died. <laughs> right. And hopefully he didn't get my sword. No, not yet. Oh, I hope not. No, God. I'm I'm dying. No. You can't Just kill me try and end the pull away. Oh God, I forgot about them. Of course. Oh no, I'm not trying to. S try and like lead them away from the portal okay. so that I can get through. Follow me. Follow the leader. <laughs> Come over here. Got one guy following me. Nice. Um... Wow, do a lot of damage to you. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow, 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 wow. One half a heart. Now I've got a heart. Yes. It's kind of risky. Just try and. I don't know if you got Feather Falling 4, but try and end up all the way, maybe. Can I put a buck of war down? Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. do that as well. Yeah, yeah that'll help. Kill one down, one to go. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Another one spawned. Oh, wow. Yeah, god damn it. Oh, oh no. Dang. Oh, jeez. Oh no! Seriously, I spawned back to my base it's oh. so far away. Okay, th let's make a cut because this is not gonna work. Okay, it's gonna take right like back. half an hour. Yeah, we are back. One, and we are back. Yeah, slight inconvenience there, but hey. <laughs> so, let's get started. Um. First thing that you really notice is Town Hall, of course. This is being made mostly by Caleb, but Shuffle is also helping. And we have two beacons, and as well, they can probably see on your screen, your FOV has got a bit uh, higher. So we got Speed 2 and Jump Boost jump. 2, and also a zombie. Caleb. Yep, got him. Uh, yeah, this is its a beautiful design. It's awesome. It's going to be absolutely huge and amazing when it's finished. I cannot wait. Um, let's see, where should we go first for the shops? I think a good place to start is the message board over here. You following? Yeah, okay. So, this is our very important message board where you put everything. So, we've got, well, the luck box TM now open, which is from JDO. We'll see that in a second. Mr. Awesome's shop, which we'll also visit, and the rare block shop. Uh, make sure to expand MND, which is Caleb, the owner, for you guys that don't know, on his channel. Baby, yeah, I saw the sign. Okay, that's just from someone. It wouldn't surprise me if that's Chris or Sheepers. Uh, so the next shop is. Let's start here. It's not open, no peeking, so don't look in the chests. But basically, this is you put a diamond in or ten iron, and you just pick any random chest, and you get what's in that chest, basically. So, I I sort of ruined the game slightly. He hadn't. He didn't have this this sign here yet. It said an open now instead of, and the no peeking wasn't there. So I basically looked through all the chests and picked out the one I wanted, and then put in a diamond. <laughs> so basically, I got a stack of iron and I paid a diamond for it. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of cheaty. Um, we got Chris's shop. This is Chris's shop. It is the pawn shop, and basically you can get whatever he is selling here, kind of thing. So he's got saddles, horse armor. Diamond for the sword. Oh yeah. My. Oh, wow. Look. Yeah, wow. it's Bane of Arthropods, so that's not brilliant, but other than that, it's pretty good. He's got like 64 blocks, oh no, that's been sold out, obviously. But he's got a load of random stuff, and you can also get um, uh, horses or mules to buy with, uh, you can buy them here as well, which is pretty cool. Wow. So, let's head on over to the next shop, which I would say is Shuffle Shop. It's for music discs, and you can get epic discs over here for two diamonds. Or you can just get the basic ones, like the cat and 13 for one diamond. And I really like this design, and also Chris is working on a redstone um, redstone door for this, which is going to be pretty awesome, hopefully. You can actually see the, uh, the building shop here, which yeah. uh, does redstone and normal builds as well. Yeah, I put more order inside already. Yeah. Oh, nice. What did you What did you get? Sub, sub Submit job shop. Okay, I think. Medieval house. 
ish. More mm. little hut. For my oh, own nice. Sport. Sweet. Looks like he's already seen it. Um, then we have Emil Sandwiches and a Mac. They like repair armor and tools and stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's sort of complicated, so I can't explain really. But you'll have to read the books and understand what they're talking about, kind of thing. And that's this really. They've also got a Hitman service in there, so you, basically you can pay them like a, a diamond or two. And they will go out and kill someone for you, which is kind of just for a bit oh, yeah. of fun. Then we have this shop, which is the rare block shop. I was actually going to make a 1.7 and w yeah, I was going to make a 1.7 and 1.8 shop. I thought that's a really cool idea. I might why not do that? Turns out that um, Shuffle and Travis, who are the owners of this shop, it was actually their idea. That was the whole point of this shop. So unfortunately, I'm not doing that anymore. I am doing something different. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, God, we're, we're rubbish at this. <laughs> um, let's see, where should we go now? We can head over this way to my shop and Caleb's shop. You fall in? Yep. So this, uh, oh yeah, we've also got Mr. A put this down here, Ender Pearl Dispenser. Whenever you get spawned, you need Ender Pearls. Just step on the pressure plate and you'll get a ton of them. Um, we here we have the bookshop, which is my shop, done by property of JJ Enterprises. You can also tie out um, your horse here if you want, which I have uh, made a uh, necessary here. And in here, as you've probably already seen, because I saw you bought my silk touch pick. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can order whichever book you want. The prices are in this chest, in the in the top chest, and you can also buy steak and leather for one diamond a stack. And then I have some odd books down here, which are kind of multiple, like combined ones. I have kind of thing. diamonds for a looting, looting free book. That's a good price. Yeah. Wow. Most of them are pretty good prices. I did it like by the percent chance that you get when doing a level 30 enchant. What's this? So it's basically this is Caleb's potion shop, but it's kind of it's his shop except. Um, Except me and Chris, me and Chris kind of fill it, so there are some potions in here, but we it's not really filled that much because me and Chris haven't really got round to it. Chris is the only one who's actually filled it at all so far. And first of all, there were um, there were item frames with the potions in and the name uh, names that so you could like see it when you hovered over it, but yeah. unfortunately it caused quite a lot of lag, so we had to remove that, which is a real shame. And you can also do bulk orders for like two double chests of a certain potion kind of thing down here and that will get delivered to your place oh, it's kind of annoying to get out of there, you've got to go back onto the ladder and yeah okay so oh, the next shop we can check out is, well I don't know, I want to show you something quickly real first, uh, god real quickly sure. first Yeah, sure. over here there is an awesome bridge which I really like and so does everyone on the server, it was built by Tylergasm, which is known as now Hinkley on YouTube, I believe. It just looks really cool, and I show everyone that takes a tour of Spawn, because it just looks really cool. Um, so, let's see, let's go over to... Oh, no, we haven't got speed, so this is really slow. <laughs> um, if we go over here, this is Chris's uh, Spawn house. He's like the only one with a Spawn house. I used to have one, but I tore it down when I moved away. Oh. So this is it. He's a pretty good builder, hence why he made a building company. He still has not done any interior design for this place, but he has got a herd of dogs over here, all looking at me really curiously. And he's he did a really nice job of this with the cyan clay and the quartz. It, it goes really well together. And so, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Uh, now here in front of you you have death games. Um, I believe I you already entered. Up. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Wait, let me check. I can quickly I check. So. I don't know if your name was in here even or not. Oh no, you haven't signed up. What? My name is what? Yeah, your name's in there. Your... Yeah, I found it. yeah, so you need to take it out of there and put it in the chest. Okay. Oh, I no, I got it out. I got it out. It's in there. So I'll just click the button. There we go. 
say now in. So you know the principle of this, you see whose name's in there, you grab the armor, you grab a sword and a bow if you want, you grab a poison potion and some arrows and then you run off and kill that person. And if you kill them, you get a diamond, if they kill you, you get a diamond. No, they get a diamond, I mean. That's it, within like 10 seconds of explaining. Um, this is Caleb's restaurant, he is... He's not very active at the moment because he's trying to get a life kind of thing, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny when I say that. Wow. But he's yeah, he's trying to get a life, and so he's in the kind of in the middle or the the beginning stages of building this. But I think it looks really it's cool nice. with like the uh, this this up the front over the the front door and stuff. This is Mr. A's place, and as you can see, he's now selling arrows apparently. So there's a load of stuff that you can buy here, kind of random stuff, I suppose. It's just a ran random shop, and then he's got the wishing well, which unfortunately I had to tell him about this just like probably a few hours ago, but it's not actually working because he's run out of things. So many people have like bought, uh, have like checked a diamond into the wishing well that he's run out of items that can actually be won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, it's popular as you can tell. And there are just, he's just got some, okay, he's just, it looks like he's chucked a load of stuff in that chest. But there is some nice stuff in here, like five diamonds for one item. What so if you, if you if you want the fortune three, that's five diamonds kind of thing. And the anvil fortune three. And name tag. tag. Wow. Um, then we have this, which is, it's it's not done at all yet. But it it's going to be a, um, okay, look, I think... Oh no, look, he's got a little list of what he's going to be doing over here on the back of his shop. The beginning station, laying track and lighting, putting in the scenery and other stuff. The ending station, yeah, so basically it's going to be a awesome, uh, like, Ouch. roller coaster kind of thing. Which uh, will be hopefully done within the next few weeks so that we can experience that. And I will have to show my viewers as well. And other than that, we have one more shot that I want to show you, which is just over the top here. We've also got this beautiful castle made by James, which I think is going to end up being a museum soon. Wow. And then this is Wee's... Yeah, I can't talk, sorry. <laughs> this is Daniel's Fatter Shop. It's pretty cool. I love the design of it, and also that he's got like the secret door behind here. I really like this, wow. like the payments and stuff. It's really cool, and it's like a real kind of shop. And you can buy, well, you can see the prices here, but you've got the little flowers, and then on the right, he's going to have the two tall ones. And it's really sweet. I think he's going to be done pretty soon. He was on here, like, making some, almost almost finishing it the other day, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for Spawn. We showed them the Nether Hub, so I suppose that's it. Yeah. Um, one thing, if any of your viewers are wondering what this floating thing is, it's all the... Um, all the things for Town Hall, the resources, they're like a load of wood and stuff up here, and stone bricks and stuff. So if you feel like dropping by and just dropping off some stuff, then feel free, of course. I wouldn't do that, like, soonish, because, of course, you've only just started, but yeah. it looks like it's pretty empty at the moment. Yep. And there's all the wrong blocks and all the wrong things. Oh no, look, here are some acacia logs and stuff like this. Wow, a lot of planks. Oh. Yeah, so uh, that's it, basically. So I suppose that's the end of your video, or, or not? Yep, that's yeah, video. and that's so probably good. if you good. enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It will help out my channel and everyone's channel. And JJ69, the channel will be in the description below. So check that out. Yep. So thank you for watching, and peace out. Bye. Okay guys, I know that you guys have seen Spawn many times before, but I thought it'd be nice for you guys to kind of know who MC Ultimate Crew is, and just to, yeah, do things with other YouTubers is fun, and of course it gets me subscribers, so I'm sure that one of the people viewing this is, could possibly be from MC Ultimate Crew, I don't know, hopefully I'm getting subscribers off of the other MEP players, but uh, if not, well, it'll happen soon. So uh, guys, thank you for watching. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye!